Is that a prairie dog? Look at those teeth. Disgusting. Don't mind if I do. And look how strong this little bad is. They're still so healthy. Please, let me shake that little hand of yours. There's 300 in here. <laughs> wow, look at these beautiful boys. We got the long nose gone and the short nose gone. And they've made a complete revival and recovery. It looks like they've eaten a lot of the minnows. Today's the big day. I'm going to be moving them out into the pond. They're obviously way too big for this cringe ah, ah little tank, but it's neat to look at them in here and get a nice little up-close view. And Patrick gets to see the difference between these two neat little species look at those teeth but okay guys it's time to let these guys into the pond where they're gonna live hopefully for the rest of their lives all right i'm cooking patrick's bottle look at those beautiful fish and this strong baby boy is no longer limping so pretty soon i'm gonna be able to let him go outside look how big he's gotten you guys in the last few days this man gets bigger and bigger every day i'm gonna start to miss him pretty soon gee i sure love a band my son <laughs> but i'm not gonna miss having all these nasty carpets and having the place smell like urine uncle ben's been through some ratchet times with taking care of animals in the past and i'm really looking forward to not sharing a space with animal urine for a while but at least for this next season of my life this is gonna be what i'm dealing with i'm gonna go ahead and take those gar into the pond now and show you guys that little release and look how strong this little bad is now such a beautiful creature oh no i've been captured by cps you're free patrick this is the first time I've let him out, you guys. The first time since he was initially injured that I've let him out. He's still limping a little bit. Look at this beautiful little man. Oh boy, here he goes. Hopping around Master Ugwe over there. Precious little fella. Oh, look at him little prancing. All right, time to put these beautiful boys out there. All right, everybody, these are the two species of gar that we have really commonly here everywhere in Waco. And take a look at this beautiful rockscaping and landscaping that we got done this week, you guys. We got our Bucky's hammock right here. Our natural little moss thrown on these rocks. Take a look at this, guys. Guys, we have so many tadpoles and minnows in here because I released it a couple days ago. This little guy should be good to go in here now. There you go. So now we have a nice little long nose gar in here and a nice little spotted gar in here. But look at that, you guys. We have two gar in this adorable little... Oh, he's gone already. I can't even see him. Perfect. And I still see tons of little minnows floating around for these guys to eat. Look at the baby. And I think these two fellas will be very happy here in our little home. What do you think, Patrick? What do you think of this little area? What do you think of this little paradise, Patrick? Precious little creature. See, he's still limping a tiny bit, but it's not nearly as bad as it was whenever he was younger. But I'm gonna leave these gars alone in here, let them heal up with their slime coat. And now we have two species of gar in our pond. Look, they're looking at each other. And the moss is actually starting to grow back. What a beautiful little place. But these hammocks do be getting filled up with water every time it rains. And we even have little egrets that come to our little pond, which is strange because I don't remember there being any fish in there, but I think I did put goldfish in there forever ago. But we have all kinds of little cranes and egrets and herons coming here already to eat my fish that i don't even have but as soon as all of this grass starts to grow in this place is gonna be beautiful also i don't really know what the game plan is with this little thing this is just the excess dirt and rocks that they left at the job site and we just kind of turned it into a grassy knoll perhaps we'll turn it into a golf green maybe this is the poop mound cringe ah uh, uh, fishing bird oh there it goes why is butt doing that is that a prairie dog whoa hey we're trapped in here someone please help us by liking this video and, su and subscribing making a hole on my property what on earth where did these creatures come from well good luck with your hole little one be careful buddy that one's not quite as friendly as our other little fella precious little creature well well look what the cappies did look at all those little baby chicks that that mama hatched with the baby and his wife oh look at this you guys patrick's meeting some friends i'm gonna leave this little fella in here with the baby for a second see if he can get comfortable with that sure is nice to introduce patrick to his new friend and because it's the middle of the day the baby is not in any kind of confrontational mood wow look at all these baby chicks you guys they're still so healthy it sure is a wonderful thing to see all this stuff complete and the fact that these little chicks can just sustain their lives look how broody that mama is this is such a good chicken mother but okay patrick you're gonna hang out in here today with the baby and his wife don't let that big bully push you around and whatever you do buddy don't go to a walmart if you're 19 
<laughs> Look at her drinking that little puddle underneath that trampoline. But okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave them all in here. It's a fine place for Patrick to hang out in for now. And honestly, at this point, I'm just gonna open this up so the cappies can just eat all of this. And I'll clean up the little trash bits so they don't eat ass. Sure is annoying that they knocked all this over, but at least this is nice food for the cappies. And they should make short work of this stuff in no time. Whoa, James Charles. All right, everybody, take a look at this. I caught some boys in here. And these shad are perfect food for little Gustavo. Look how precious this little channel catfish is, you guys. And it's too big to be eaten by this crappie, which I'll be taking outside anyways. But look at that beautiful boy. Now he's in a new place, so he's probably not gonna try and eat these minnows yet. Look at this chubby dude. He already ate one or two of those little fellas. We still have about three of them living in here, and that's perfect. They're all perfect size for him to eat, and they're shad, so they're really edible. I don't have to pay $6 for it. You see, guys, this is that top tier enrichment that you don't get when you just give them dead things every now and then. And the best thing about it is that it's free. All I paid for it. And this little fella here is starting to settle in pretty well, and he's the perfect size for this tank. Way more perfect than that crappie in the back there, who really deserves to be in a new pond or released. But either way, there's plenty of fish in here for both of these adorable little creatures, but this guy is my new favorite pet. Oh, sweet wampum. Master Uguay's come to the water and hole for a drink. Good morning, my beautiful friend. Goodbye, little wombi. Please, let me shake that little hand of yours, please. There, thank you. Think, oh, come on. But this is just my friend's baby it's Wobby, and he's taking her home. They're much more skittish and cringe. All right, everybody, take a look at this. We do have a decent bit of algae, but it's a neat type of algae. It's like a stringy algae. If I get out of this mess, I'll never abandon my son again. Like this video for a Game Boy Advance. And I now have our little Patrick Bapeman right here. And he's not just loving and getting along with the kangaroos, but they tolerate him, and he's fine to be in here. And he has tons of nice, good grass to eat in this whole area. Speaking of grass, though, I am going to have to start watering this stuff a lot more. But all of the spots of grass that are in the sun are a little bit more yellow. So I'm going to start cleaning these things a lot more as well. But just look at how perfect everything is, you guys. And we got the Bucky's hammock. Perfect. How's about you sponsor me, Bucky? I do believe that there is just a giant beaver that runs this business. But all the animals are happy and well. And this is one of the best times of year to be enjoying the weather here at the Urban Rescue Branch. Also, look how deep that water is that Karen's walking through. Isn't that crazy? Good heavens. Also, I now have these giant feed buckets that are way bigger than those old ones. Look at all this water, you guy. Okay, Kevin, calm down. Calm down, children. Look how muddy this little Karen boy is. And I have not cut the grass here at all. I think it looks a lot better if we don't cut all this grass. Okay, Kevin, calm down, buddy. But as soon as all this grass is healthy, I'm gonna go ahead and release the cappy so that they can go into this whole area. But I do need to water the heck out of this grass. And now that my little Patrick boy is out here, all of this disgusting carpet that's been covered with urine throughout the duration of his recovery from his leg issue can now be out of here. Hooray! I'm actually gonna move him in here with the cappies. But this will be the first bottle I've given him outside in a good while. Look at these boys with their nasty brown chocolate milk. Disgusting. Okay, I'm actually gonna be leaving this open so the kangaroos can come out if they want. Patwick, come here, buddy. Come here, Patrick. And now this fella isn't limping much at all anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and refill this nest. Look at his foot out outside of that that's so funny such precious little creatures i'm gonna refill that and now i'm gonna go ahead and fill up this bad ball also master Uguay's work in the yard again this fella loves to just fence walk all day long and this is his first time getting 10 ounces twice a day and to clean and refill this i just use this hose that's connected to the house cringe ah, ah tortoise but now we have a nice little pile of alfalfa here for everything and i've covered up this nasty little area they used to just be mud. Hopefully this keeps the cappies from rolling around in it as much and making everything disgusting. Cappy moment. As you can see, they're going up into their thing now and they're not covered in mud. Nothing like seeing a couple cappies bathing. But you see, now that I put all this hay here, they're not gonna just roll around in the mud. And look at all these little boys. They haven't been in the water in a long time. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh. Calm down, children. Be like Kumala. This one doesn't care one bit. Look at him. He says, where did my friends go? Precious little clappy blathies. But yeah, guys, everything is starting to turn out pretty nice over here. I got these kennels set up back there. As soon as I get the roofs on those, hopefully by the end of tonight, we'll be able to get inspected. <laughs>
we'll be able to get our final inspection from the game warden and then we should be approved to do wildlife rehab but all right i suppose i'll let these little fellas be but that's it for now though you guys i love you i appreciate you thank you so much for watching my little video and i can't wait to show you the next update when all of this is done hopefully the house will start to have siding and patrick bateman will be living outside full time hopefully goodbye clappy blappies good morning everybody it's the evening now uncle ben is still hoarding rosy reds from petco <laughs> there's 300 in here <laughs> Hello, handsome little friend. Do you have a nice little home? Oh, gosh. Calm down. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Gosh. Just get back in your cringe little hole, boy. Oh, and look how happy he is, you guys. He just had a big, nice meal. I gave this man five nice size shad to hunt, and they are all in his belly. That's it for now, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Uh hey, guys. Thanks for liking this video. I'll be sure to never abandon my son ever again.